Good morning, everyone. I'm Maria Perez. And I'm Anthony Costa. Thanks for watching this special Thanksgiving show on this Tuesday morning. We begin with a look at our top story. Most people know about the product shortage occurring in most stores. Little did we know that this could affect the American tradition of Black Friday shopping. Many stores are scared that they will not have enough product to meet shoppers' needs. This could affect some of our different sales that, occur that could be occurring if you're planning on going Black Friday shopping. Now let's see what we have for weather. Let's check in with Anna. Thanks, Anthony. Today will be a high of 43 and a low of 18 with sunny skies. Sunny, sunny doesn't always mean hot, so remember to wear a jacket. Let's, let's look at the next three days. Tomorrow will be a high of 52 with a low of 30 with sunny skies. Looking at Thanksgiving, there will be a 90% chance of rain with a high of 48 and a low of 28. Friday will be a high of 35 with a low of 20. Make it a chilly Thanksgiving break. That's all for your oral forecast. Back to you. Some of our TV students with are rent around with holiday spirit. They have to see what the rest of the students in. Let's check it out. Oh, look at the giving. We recorded what are you this thankful for? In um, minute, me personally, uh, I'm thankful for my uh, TV group because uh, without being in TV, we wouldn't get to do this uh, this package and see what people are thankful for, which is really cool. So, what about what about you, Maria? Um, I'm thankful for my friends to have stuck around and the TV group too. I totally agree. So let, let let's go see what those people are thankful let's go. for. I'm thankful for um, the teachers and the staff that I like. Shout out my best friend, Miss Rocky. Shout out to you, big dog. Um, I'm thankful for my friends. Shout out to uh, Ariana. You know how much love I got for you, G. Um, who else? I'm thankful for all my friends who are family, um, and just getting through senior year. Yeah. I'm thankful for my parents getting me where I am. Um, that's about it. I'm thankful for my two best friends in the world, uh, Natalie Fant and Autumn Stevens. I love you guys so much. I know you don't really pay attention to the news but I hope you heard your name and I hope that you know that I love you so much and I'm very thankful for you. Um, I'm thankful for my family and my friends because they're always supporting me. I'm thankful we have a five day break. Well, that was nice. It, it was, it's nice to see what people are, are thankful for on Thanksgiving. Go so. thank the people right next to you. Tell do them it. Thankful for them. Yeah, do it. Tell, tell them you're thankful for them. Not everyone... your turkey though. No, don't do that, yeah. Well, for HS News, I'm Connor McLaughlin. And I'm Rhea Press. Happy Thanksgiving. On the front steps of Town Hall, there will be live music and entertainment, and also a visit from Santa, crafts, train rides, hot chocolate, and cookies, and fireworks. The event is primarily held outdoors and is absolutely free. This is at the Avon Town Hall from 6 till 7 on December 4th. Are you thinking of what to buy your family and friends, but are on a low budget? Well, our Avon TV is back with some shop and save on this Black Friday. Long, students and families have to think about that what should have been each and how much they're going to spend. We spoke to students about the upcoming shopping season and what their plans are. Here's what they had to say. Do H&M and American Eagle. I'm probably going to shop at just Perry Crossing at all the stores that are there. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Casual places like Walmart and Target. I'm going to go to like Bath and Body Works and probably like Target. And I probably will start Black Friday shopping in person. I'm probably going to Black Friday shop in person because it's more fun and you get a better experience. Walmart. Uh, mostly in person, but I might do a little bit on Amazon as well. Maybe person, but also online. Probably online. Hoping to shop at Best Buy. I'm actually not planning on doing any shopping on Black Friday. I'm hoping to get it all done before then. I normally don't shop on Black Friday. Mainly Walmart and Target. I'm going to shop online. I'm going to be shopping online because that way I don't have to go into Walmart or anywhere like that. Online because crowd would be crazy. Although lots of people are making plans to go to places like Perry Crossing and the Greenwood Mall for their in-person shopping, tons of people are also wanting to order their holiday gifts online. From wide ranges of places, Amazon is somewhere you can guarantee to get the best shopping experience with their early Black Friday deals. As shown, things like clothes, makeup, and electronics bought on the Amazon website can save you so much more rather than buying them any other time in the year. You heard it first from your peers. For AHS News, I'm Lily really Davis.
civil engagement council applications are due at the end of the day. Be sure to get them turned in and turned into guidance offices. Do you and your family have traditions you do every year for Thanksgiving? Our very own kids from Avon TV went around to see what some of our peers in Avon have in mind for this year. Have you ever wondered about your peers' Thanksgiving traditions? Well, today, I'll be asking AHS students and staff what they typically do for Thanksgiving. Let's take a look. What I usually do for Thanksgiving is I go to my mom's house, and I'm usually with my sister and, unfortunately, my brother-in-law. And uh, we usually just hang out, we watch TV, um, we'll eat, and then I'll probably duck off and go see one of my friends and his family um, because I usually go to both their houses or I may occasionally go to my dad's side of the family and eat Thanksgiving with them. And this is always in uh, South Bend, Indiana area. Yeah, Thanksgiving's always a fun holiday because you get to be with family. And so we, uh, my wife and I, we alternate one side of the family to the other side of the family. Uh, but it always includes great food uh, and a lot of a lot of conversation and, uh, and some sometimes some games as well. So that's that's what we do on our our Thanksgivings. Thanksgiving, it's kind of different every year. Um, our extended family is in Mexico, so it's kind of like a smaller Thanksgiving than everybody else's. Um, so we eat dinner and um, we usually eat like this typical like Thanksgiving foods, but we also eat. Uh, Mexican typical foods. My family usually spends the morning like baking and stuff like that. We obviously have done stuff the night before, but um, we kind of do the finishing touches on everything so everything's kind of fresh that morning and everything like that. And depending on where we're at, like whose turn it is, because my mom and dad switch every year, we could either be in Ohio with my mom's family or we could just be at home and my dad's parents come over. Uh, I think the favorite part of my like my tradition is just you know, just getting back to the things that you are thankful for. You're thankful for your family, even though sometimes you can't pick your family. You kind of uh, sit there and you think to yourself, well, where would I be without them? They've been there for me the whole time. Uh, and I would say probably just trying the foods that my ancestors had to eat to get to where we are. If it wasn't for them, taking the, uh, I guess, taking, taking all the struggles away from us, I wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are today. Thanksgiving just reminds me to be thankful. Um, our family goes around the table and says what we're thankful for. And at the time it feels cheesy, but when you really think about it, it's, it really reminds you um, that you should be grateful for everything. Like, it, it's just kind of casual for my family. It's not like a super deep meeting, like my grandma will my great grandma sometimes will come and she doesn't do it much anymore because she's not in a nursing home. But she used to like, we'd hold hands around like in a circle around the whole kitchen because we have a big family and we'd say a prayer and stuff like that. My grandpa kind of does it now. It's my dad's side of the family. Um, but it, it's just kind of a time where we all come together, kind of catch up on each other's lives where we can just sit down for a minute, not worry about work, not worry about school. We just kind of sit and eat and talk with one another. People for my friends and my family, and just everyone around me. I'm really thankful for all my friends and definitely food. Food's a really good one. I'm thankful that I have a family that cares for me and loves me, and that I have friends that can do the same. Um, to have a house, uh, parents, and my friends, and my sisters. I am thankful for all of my friends. They're very cool people. Um, and my band is pretty cool. Um, not Raina. I'm thankful for my opportunities as a musician and my friends and family, but um, Gavin. I hope this interests you and maybe you can learn something new. For AHS News, I'm Jordan Denneval. Back to you. The 10th Annual Gobble Gallop 5K entry is now open. Continuing the tradition, this Thanksgiving, give back one gallop at a time. When you run the Gobble Gallop 5K, you are supporting the annual campaign, which ensures that people of all ages can enjoy the health, fitness, and education benefits of membership. There is a West Side community received over their West Side community received over 400,000 in financial assistance in 2018. Now it is the time to register. This at the YMCA Thanksgiving morning. A lot is going on in sports. Let's check in with Luke for update in sports. Thanks, Anthony. On Sunday, the University of Florida fired football coach Dan Mullen. 
who is in his fourth season with the club. Athletic director Dan Strickland stated, I just told him I thought the Gators and our football program ought to take a different path. Florida was defeated by Missouri in a 23-24 overtime game on Saturday, putting the Gators to a 5-6 overall record and a dreadful 2-6 record in the Southern Southeastern Conference this season. Florida has dropped four of its five previous games, with, this, with the lone victory coming against the FCS team Stamford. Mullen finished his time at UF with a 34-15 record, including a trip to the SEC title game last season, which ended in a 52-46 loss to Alabama. Back here with sports, at our Avon girls basketball team plays Noblesville on Saturday, the 27th, starting at 12.30. Our Avon boys basketball team also takes on Mooresville at home at 7.30. That is all for your sports. Back to you. A music video aired last night on Maria Perez is back with a full version music video. Las calles que vieron mi infancia, la prisa del amor escondida. El barrio, el fútbol, la vagancia, mis padres, mi niñez, mi inocencia, todo se quedó allí. Mi primer contratiempo, mi primera alegría, mi primer argumento, mi primer melodía, mi primer salto al viento. Mi primera agonía, mi país, más que mi patria, mi raíz, más que mi suelo, la matriz, que me enseñó a parir pensamientos, mi país, más que mi patria, mi raíz, más que mi suelo, el matiz, que me fue pintando el camino. Mi país, mi país. Okay, at the end, one, two, three. That's all for the Oral Report this week. Our Avon TV wishes you a happy Thanksgiving and are thankful for everyone in our program. Have a great long break and enjoy those right next to you. Have a happy gobble. holidays. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Gobble, gobble. <laughs>